Hi, this is Herb Halstead from geekrev.com, and it's not often that we get to see, um, in a church environment especially, a great piece of equipment. Um, I just so happen to be lucky enough to where I work that they just recently bought me a really nice piece of equipment for what I do. I'm a 3D graphics artist as well as an architectural designer, and we just got a crazy machine. I just wanted to show it to you because we don't really get to see this kind of equipment very often. So... With that said, I'm going to show you what we have. What we have here is an Alienware um, PC. It's uh, specifically designed for gaming, uh, high-end 3D gaming. But because of that, because it's built for 3D, for real-time 3D playback, it makes a great workstation for, uh, for doing 3D graphics uh, work. When we opened up the box, we found this really cool thing. This is the user manual for this thing. It's got metal parts and all that, and this is all leather. I mean, that's so, pretty crazy. Uh, it comes with uh, a lighted mouse that um, wireless. It has some adjustments you can make on it. It's got some buttons to increase the sensitivity and that kind of thing. It's uh, got a cool wheel here that you can actually get the clicky sound. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but um, where you can flip it over on the bottom and turn off the turn off the clicky stuff. And then here's the keyboard. It's got media adjustments up here. It's a lit keyboard, backlit. Um, it's got some special customizable buttons on the side and across the top. And It's got this game mode where you flip the switch and it turns it into uh, you can turn on a gaming profile which is kind of cool. Uh, muting the audio on the things real quick. Just a quick tap right there. That's pretty this neat. is the box. Um, I should grab back here and show you a little bit about oh, the back side of that thing. Um, as you can see, there's backlighting all over the place. Um, these right here, these are cool. These are active vents. The um, the the heating ma the heat management system on the box controls these fan these vanes, and they open up, and you can see the allow for better airflow in there. And it is a liquid cooled system. Um, and it's got uh, some ports up here uh, on the top. This is this actual this panel right here. Um, actually pushes up and down to hide these uh, ports back here, but since I use them, I just keep it open. Um, the, the Alienware logo is everywhere. This is pretty cool. Watch this. You push this button. <laughs> it opens up to reveal the drives. That itself is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's got a lot of creature comforts. It's kind of like, an, um, kind of like a, an expensive car might have, you know, just some extra little things that make them cool. Uh, one of the things is, you'll notice right there, these lights here, uh, they light up all of this so you can see things better. Um, not only that, but in the back of the machine back here, there is a, a light switch back here. The, let's see if we can, you see, did you see that to come on there? That lights up the back, so while you're messing with cables, you can actually see what you're doing, too. It's pretty cool. Um, also, if you, when you open up the box, there is an internal light <laughs> that lights up uh, all the bays in there, so you can get to your stuff and see what's going on. They're really cool stuff. Um, really cool Alienware uh, headphones that come with it. Uh, they sound really great. Uh, interesting thing, I'll never use this because I don't game on this. This is strictly for work, but it's got a extendable uh, microphone, uh, adjustable microphone that sits in the housing and retracts. That's just awesome. All of these lights that you see, the backlit keyboard, all of this, all of this stuff is actually controllable by a, uh, a control panel that's uh, built into or, or included with the system. I'm going to show you that, show you that here. Um, so if I go over to effects down here at the bottom um, gives me the option to change these things so just looking at my keyboard down here kind of if I click on the keyboard picture over here um, it gives me a picture of the keyboard and I can select the zone and I can go in here and change the color of it and look the keyboard just updated now you can adjust all your thermal controls and you can actually peel these off 
as I have on my other monitor, I have a couple of the temperature gauges down here. The thermal control button down here allows you to control things like the act active venting. Are they fully open? Are they connected to the fan? Uh, what happens at startup? Different cool I did recently like did that. test render 22 plus minutes, and after we stuck the same rendering in this box um, and ran it, it was under four. So it's like an 80% give back on time just on rendering. So we don't get to see those things uh, often in our line of work as pastors and even church techies. I wonder how many churches have these. At any rate, Herb Halstead, geekrev.com.